Hey guys, James here from Hackathon and before we start off today's tutorial, I just want to state my opinion. As you guys know that YouTube is coming down really hard on content creators who create tutorials on penetration testing, hacking tutorials and manual malware analysis and uh this being a free community, I believe that uh, we should be allowed to go ahead and train people to allow them to learn certain techniques and, you know, advance their careers. Now, having said that, let's go ahead and start off with PHP code injection. And I'm going to go ahead and cover all three levels of PHP code injection here. And I'm gonna go and show you why PHP code injection works on certain security levels and it does not work on the others on BWAP. So let's get started. Now, as you see, that I've got this message here and it's asking me to click on this particular link. If I go and click on this link, I get an echo that says test. But if you look, on the URL, you'll see a parameterized query where it says message equals test, like query message equals test. So that's the vulnerability here. So if I do a test one, it'll go and give me test one. If I do a Captain Nemo, let's say, it'll go and give me a Captain Nemo. Now, we can go and leverage this kind of attacks to uh, perform some system related tasks to get information from the system. There is a built in uh, PHP command called system that will go and execute system commands, OS system commands. So let me go and show you that. If I do a system, and if I go and use this particular payload, obfuscated bash glob payload what do you think it'll do it'll go and print the pwd file like the password file passwd file it's obfuscated using bash globs if i go ahead and remove this if i do a cat slash etc slash PSSWD will do the same thing. If I do a uh, let's say LS have ALH It will go and give me the files that are present here. These are the files that are present in this particular directory. Similarly, you can go and traverse other directories as well. Now, having said that, let me go and explain to you why this works. Now, as you can see that the main file responsible for this is PHP i.php. Now, for bug bunty hunters, this is very important because they'll have to go and identify which file is firing up this particular module the module that you're working on on if you are doing bug bounty hunting so in this particular case it's phpi.php i've got that open here all right now if i go and look in this particular file i'll see that when the security level is not set to medium or high It'll use the eval function. Eval is like an evaluation function, evaluate function. What it does is like it'll go and take whatever scope it has, whatever messages it has within its scope, and it'll execute it on an OS level, like on a OS perspective. So the parameterized queries that I have here. It will go ahead and execute them and them as an OS and you go and show them on the web page itself. Uh, you can probably pipe that to, uh, you know, to a remote folder. If you have a remote folder on 
DigitalOcean, like remote server, a VPS server on on DigitalOcean, I think you can pipe that to that particular uh, server as well. I'm sorry, my voice is like really cranky. Uh, I'm not in very good health at this point of time. Now, uh, let's go ahead and go get reverse shell. So, I'll be using NC traditional. I've got the command ready here. And before going ahead and executing that, let me do a clear. I'll just go ahead and add this up. And I'll just go ahead and hit this. As you can see here, I have executed uname as well. And I am connected to the server. If I do ls, I'll get a bunch of files. If I do slash cd slash root, I'll do a root. I'll do a print working directory. I can do pretty much so. I've got reverse shell and obfuscated reverse shell. It non-obfuscated reverse shell rather. So let's go ahead and obfuscate this, right? So if I do this. Say slash IP address. That's my IP address, port number. Payload ID. Oopsie. Slash. I'll close the codes here. I'll put a delimiter. Let me just check the command. And I would probably go and add another command here. Now let me just go ahead and cancel out of this. I'll do clear once again. And I'll start the listener. Let me just check this. And I'll just go ahead and execute this. It's execute right now. And I am connected. And it's giving me the e name. You can add multiple uh, commands as well. So your CD slash root slash desktop print working directory. What matters is that we have got the U name here and we have got a reverse shell, obfuscated reverse shell. Now let me explain why this thing has worked. It's using the eval function, but let me just go ahead and do something. Let me just cancel out of this reverse shell. And let me just go ahead and set this to high. Now if I go ahead and click on the link, I'll get a message here. If I do a test one. It will go and give me the test one, but but if I go ahead and try to execute something, let's say system uname hyphen a, and I'll have to put that in quotes. It will not do that. The reason being this when 
the security level is medium or high, there is no eval function. This is one of the best examples of a sanitizer, a PHP sanitizer. Because what eval does is like, it takes whatever arguments or whatever parameters that has in its scope and it executes that from an OS perspective. So as we do not have eval here, it's simply going ahead and echoing it. But let me just go ahead and remove this. We can go ahead and print text files, or rather, no text. So if I do a hello Nemo, it'll say hello Nemo, and we are on high. But this is not exactly a, you know, a, a, an exploit. This is just the way the code is supposed to work. The code ideally the exploit would have been to go ahead and perform some system commands or get a reverse shell or you know uh, get a persistent reverse shell or get some data out of that. You can probably pipe the data to a remote uh, DigitalOcean BPS file share server. That's also possible uh, when it's on low level. Now the target websites for these would be the ones which are powered obviously by PHP and when you click on a link if you see that the URL is parameterized then you can go ahead and try this kind of attacks and see if it is yielding any system commands or not or rather executing any system commands or not. If it's executing system commands, then it's vulnerable. If it's not executing system commands, move on to a next site and see if that works or not. So this was a pretty comprehensive uh, example and an explanation of how uh, PHP remote code execution works. And this is one of the best sanitizers that you have got like it's using HTML special characters and it's going ahead and encoding it using or rather decoding it using UTF-8 that's uh, the unique Unicode uh, character set and it's echoing it back so in a sense what's happening is like whatever is on the that particular link it will go ahead and execute that but one like as I told you, one particular uh, exploit would be to type in any gibberish when I'm on high mode and get that printed. But that's not really a exploit to be very honest. Well, I do hope that this particular tutorial was helpful and I was able to make you understand how this thing works do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification icon to stay notified on my latest uploads and do follow me on Facebook or Twitter if you have any queries or if you want to know something let me know you have the comment section as well leave a comment and let me know if you want me to try something out in the future Till then, this was James from Hackathon to have a good day, evening or night, wherever you are. God bless now. Take care. Bye-bye.